Welcome to another video from the DJpodcast.com in our How to DJ with Tractor Pro 2 series. In this video, we're going to look at recording your mix inside of Tractor. We're going to start off by first going into the preferences and making sure that we have our audio set up correctly. We'll do that by clicking on this little cogwheel icon on the top right. And you want to make sure that you're on the Mix Recorder tab. There's only a few options here, but it's really important that you have these set up so that your mix records correctly. The first thing you want to check is the source, whether you're going to be recording from an internal output or from an external input. If you're mixing with something like a all-in-one MIDI controller sound card, something like the Control S4, then you're going to want to set your source to internal. If you have a multi-channel sound card, and are using a dedicated DJ mixer, then you're going to want to change your source to external. When you choose external as your audio source, you then have the option of choosing which external input you're going to record from. For me, this is set input deck D. However, you can set this up in your input routing to whatever input on your sound card you want. So you can have any of these five inputs being recorded, you just have to choose the one that corresponds to how you have your mixer and sound card set up. There are a couple other options here. So you can choose what file directory you want your recordings to go to. So if you want to record the desktop, simply click this button here and then choose your desktop. You can also add a prefix. So if you want to do something like, you know, uh, your DJ name and then the date or something, you can put that in there. Also, you can choose to split the files at a certain size. It's set default to 650 megabytes so that it fits on a CD. But if you wanted to change that, you can click here and you can see we have things like 64 megabytes, 2 gigabytes, however you want. Now this is an automatic split, but you can also split it manually while you're recording. Once you set all the options in the Mix Recorder tab, we can close out the preferences and actually start our recording. We're going to go and open up the recording tab in the interface. To do that, you can go over to the top right and click on this little cassette icon, and that opens up the audio recorder. It's got some pretty simple controls, and it's really easy to understand how to use them. First thing you can see here is that we are not recording, so nothing has yet to be actually recorded into an audio file. When we play a track, we'll see some meters. You can see them here going. And this is the input signal that we have coming in to our sound card. If we feel like it's a little bit high or low, we can change the gain on the actual recorder itself. And you can see that if it's too loud, it'll hit red. You've got a recording button here, which is kind of a dark red. And when we click that, we're going to start recording our mix. You can see that it's now recording. It has the file size and also the length of time that we've been recording the mix. Now, as I said before, you can set Tractor up to automatically split your recording into multiple files. If you want to, you can do that manually too. You just have to press the cut button. This will then create a new file for your recording, and it will reset the size and time counter. And when you're all done doing your actual mix and you want to stop recording, you can simply hit the yellow record button, and it will go back again to not recording. So you might be asking yourself, okay, what exactly do I get out of the recordings from Tractor. We're looking here at the recordings folder on my computer and you can see that we have the two WAV files that Tractor produced. It does record in WAV so it's going to give you a really high quality recording which is great. It's also got some other information like the date, the time, and the length in hours, minutes, and seconds. So now you are all set and ready to start recording your mix inside of Tractor Pro 2. Thanks for watching.